Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Today, I'm going to show you how to use extractions to add some nice finishing touches to your photos. I'm going to use one of my favorite tools, which came out with Photoshop CS3, and it is the Quick Selection tool. When we're finished, we'll have something that looks like this, where we've extracted a part right here and a part right where the arm is, and this ball it makes the whole picture almost look 3D. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way template that we're going to start with, but it could also be like a magazine cover. I'm just going to rearrange it here. We're just going to turn these layers off. A template that could be a poster or uh, a magazine cover. Basically what I'm going to do is drag my photo into the template, and I want to make sure it's going to go into the right area. So large photo here, and I'm just going to drag it in. And I'm going to size it. I want his arm coming off a little bit. Now I have the, situ the picture situated where I want it and sized the way I want it. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy it. And in order to extract this ball and put it where I want it, I am going to have to move this, move one of my layers. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to turn my bottom layer off and my top layer on select my move tool and scoot this over until I see the ball. Now this is the first thing that we're going to extract and it doesn't matter that we moved it around. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on it so I can see what I'm doing and I'm going to come over to my quick selection tool and if you can't see it then you right click until you get to it. Now I'm going to choose a large, these are brushes, so um, I'm going to right click my right bracket key to p choose a large brush and basically I want, what I'm doing is I'm selecting what I want to keep, so. And as long as you have this auto enhance on, it actually takes a little bit longer, but it does a little bit more to try to select exactly what you want. If you are doing some detail work and you want don't really want that on because it takes longer, you can turn that off and then turn it back on when you go to do your fine details. So I'm just basically selecting the area, roughly and then I'm going to go into Auto Enhance and I'm going to look at some of these edges and see how I did. Now when I want to take away an area I come back in and I'm going to choose my left bracket to make it smaller and I'm going to press my Alt key on the PC and I'm just taking away a little bit of this. And also I do have a hard brush here and I'm taking away a little bit more until I get I see a little bit of grass right here. And then I'm going to bring in a little bit right here. And you just keep going back and forth with this until you get it how you want it. And that looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to take this little edge off. And then I'm going to click on Refine Edge. When you click Default, it shows a white background. Um, if you want to see what other backgrounds look like, like a dark background or the mask, then you can press these, but the default is always white. And what you can do is you can move these around and it helps you select and move in on your object. And once you get the radius and the contrast set to where you think it looks pretty good, I'm going to take a little bit more, and then you can come over to smooth and play with these. Sometimes you just take it to the extreme so that you can see what it does. And feather. I'm going to take this in. And this is what it looks like with the dark. A little bit. And I'm pretty happy with that so I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it hasn't really done anything yet. So what I need to do is on make sure that I have my layer selected that I'm working with and click on the mask tool. Then it's going to mask 
everything but the ball, the selection. Now I turn back on my other layer and I'm going to zoom out and then I can put that ball wherever I want. And then if I want it coming out of the frame, I also press my control and my right bracket to move it up and now above the frame. So another thing you can do is if you have something completely extracted, you can add effects to it like a drop shadow or an outer glow to enhance it. And those are some fun things you can do, but I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for now. You could also come in here since you have a mask and you can fix up any areas with your brush as long as you're selecting your mask. The black will cover so you could just come in here and fix any imperfections that you're not happy with until you get it how you want it. Or you could bring back an area by swapping this and just bring back portions that you want. Now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing with his head and his hand. So let's go ahead and turn off this word football. Let's turn off this edge. Zoom in here on his head and we're just going to take this and we're just, we just need to get his head selected out. And you can, again, like I said, you can work on this and put a lot of detail into it or you can just do a quick selection. And I'm just going to take a little bit out here. You can also use the extract filter which sometimes just does a good job with hair. This is pretty good, like if you had a football player and you just wanted to get with a helmet on, then this is really good because you have such a straight edge that you're working with. Okay, and then we're going to come over to his hand and we're just going to select. I'm going to zoom in here, come back and press my Alt key. And I'm going to need to make this brush smaller, so I'm pressing my left bracket and sometimes I forget which way I'm going. The minus takes it away. Just details. Now you could do this whole with the whole image and extract your player and it's actually pretty fast and, and then when you get to the details it does take a little bit longer but it's a pretty fast process so it's a really nice tool. View, fit on screen. Okay now I've got those two areas so I'm going to go ahead to my refine edge and it's, let's zoom in here. I'm clicking on this zoom tool and I'm going to just look at it. It's a pretty forgiving tool and you can go back and tweak it. Tweak your, like let's say, uh, let's say that I didn't like this little bump right here. I can just come in here and press my Alt key and just smooth that out and then go back to my refine. Keep working on it. It doesn't look like I really smoothed it out that great, but you get the idea here of how it works and it's a really nice quick tool. Now I'm going to create a new layer for this and I'm going to go ahead and click on my mask tool so you can see my extractions there. So now I'm going to turn back on my football and my grungy edge fit on screen and all I have to do is move this layer above those so I'm pressing Okay, so I'm selecting my layer and I'm going to press control and my right bracket and move the hand all the way up to the top basically so it covers everything. Okay, it looks like I might have a little issue here so let's look at this and it looks like I might need to do a little fixing up here. So I'm going to get my brush and I'm just going to enhance this little area right here. I'm just basically adding to my extracted portion. I didn't get quite enough extracted. I think his hair is okay though. That area looks good. Oop, view, fit on screen. Hey, that was easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, you can always reach us at easydigitals.com. Have a creative day.